Hi there, this is Dr. Glenn Vanass with another case of Blazing is Amazing. Today we're going to talk about a diode gingivectomy. What we see here is a lower premolar with an amalgam that needs a replacement. When we get to the video, you'll see me have an initiated tip, and I tend to wait with it on the tissue, just waiting until I see a plume of smoke to know that it's ready to go. Leave it stationary. You can see right in a second there's a plume of smoke, and you know you're good to go then. With this case, we're using the laser at 0.9 watts in short brush-like strokes, trying to be careful to not remove excess uh, attached tissue and uh, create a, a mucogingival defect. So we're just using short brush-like strokes to try and expose the gingival aspect of the amalgam. Now, many times I get asked, what happens if accidentally, when you're working away, if your diode laser touches the metal? Will you get arcing or sparking like you would with electrosurge? Well, just to show you here, you'll find that with these short brush-like strokes, you don't see any interaction with the metal. You can see we're able to remove the tissue. We're not getting a lot of charring. We're looking at the laser tissue interaction. Just to show that um, you don't have any uh, worries if you do accidentally touch the amalgam, uh, you see that here I'm actually working around I'm just touching it lightly and you'll see that there's no interaction at all. There's nothing going on, there's no arcing, there's no sparking like you would have with an electrosurge. So after roughly 40 to 50 seconds you should have achieved enough retraction to be able to remove your amalgam safely without it cutting the tissue. And once the amalgam is removed you can see here the preparation is complete. Note the lack of charring that's occurred and how the tissue is at roughly the same level as the canine. Air abrasion is completed, the restoration is etched, bonded, and a composite uh, restoration is placed in both here at low mag and here with the final restoration high magnification. Again notice the lack of charring and how the tissue will quickly reappear. Until next time this is Dr. Glenn Vanasse. Keep glazing. It's amazing.